All right, now what could be the most bizarre reason for arresting an individual? Well, in Philadelphia in the United States, two young African-American men were arrested for sitting at a Starbucks cafe without ordering anything to eat. Sounds illogical? Well, take a look at this report. Sitting at a cafe like Starbucks and waiting for a friend to arrive is nothing unusual. But the otherwise harmless activity turned into a nightmare for two young black men. Their fault? They were waiting for their friend to arrive but hadn't ordered food. And yes, they ended up being handcuffed and arrested by the police. In an unverified video, which has now been viewed at least 4.5 million times, the two young men are seen being arrested by the police from inside the cafe. The store manager reportedly asked the men to either place their order or they would not be allowed to use the washroom, which is believed to be in line with the Starbucks policy. The police were then called. Six police officers, all of them white, handcuffed and arrested the two young men. According to the police, they were arrested for defiant trespassing. The two black men were photographed, their fingerprints taken and they were held for nine hours before they were eventually let off. The police concluded that there was not sufficient evidence against the two men to press charges. To firefight the negative publicity due to the incident, Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson had this to say on Twitter, quote, We regret that our practices and training led to the reprehensible outcome at our Philadelphia store. We're taking immediate action to learn from this and be better. We apologize to the two individuals and our customers for what took place at our Philadelphia store." Unquote. The police, though, have defended the arrest. Starbucks said that according to their company policy, they do not allow non-paying uh, members or non-paying uh, people of the public to come in and, and use the restroom. And so they then asked these two males to leave. These two males refused to leave, uh, and the police were called. The incident has been widely condemned. It again brought to the fore the heavy-handed manner in which the U.S. police deal with black American youth, leading to widespread protests. Despite the explanation given by police, activists see this incident as a clear case of race bias. They accuse the police of resorting to racial prejudice and profiling, rather than using logic, when they were called in to handle what looked like an innocuous situation at Starbucks. Bureau Report, we on.